So I've signed up for a new account here. And the first thing you got to do is create a workspace. And that's just going to create a place for all of your projects, for all your collections, your databases. Okay, so let's create a workspace and give it a name. I'm going to be a developer next size of your team, just me. I'm going to use it for a low code backend and we're good. Okay, so here's our workspace and here's where we'll put all of our projects. So let's create a new project and this is going to be products and we're going to use Firebase, but you can see Postgres and Mongo are coming. And here we got to give Rowy access to our Firebase. If you don't have a Firebase project set up, that's fine. You can do it right now. Here we're just giving permissions to Roe and that's all good. Great, continue. Now, if you already have a Firebase project and you just want to import it into Roe, you can do that or create a new project. The projects you already have are going to be here, but we're just going to create a new one. Let's just call this products and select the region closest to you. Normally it defaults to the proper one anyways and create a project. So that didn't work. And it didn't work because this is the first time I'm creating a project in Firebase with this email. And the first time you use the email, you have to accept the terms and conditions of Firebase. So, so open Firebase console and create a new project. Once again, we're going to call it products and accept the Firebase terms. If you want Google Analytics tied to your project, you can do this here. I'm not. Now my project's ready. Great. Now let's go back to Rowie, and from the drop down menu, we can, we can select our project. From here on out, if you have any new projects that you want to create from Rowie, you don't have to go over to the Firebase console. Okay, great. Here we're setting up the region for our Firestore, that's our database, and our storage for any files we need stored. Normally it should default to where you are, and that's where I am, and so I'm going to enable those services. And it'll just take a minute. While that's going on, we can enable Firebase authentication. What this is going to do is it can allow you to control different users and what permissions they have on your database. So for instance, if you only wanted certain users to be able to change certain types of data in your database. So we're going to open our auth page, get started, and that should be good. Let's verify. And auth is set up. Awesome. Okay, so we've created our workspace in Rowie. We've created a project in Firebase. We've linked up Rowie to Firebase. We're all ready to go.